All right, so hello everyone. Hello. Hello, hello, sorry. Hello, good evening. Hello, Claudia. Good evening. Good evening. All right, so we will start in a couple of minutes. Give me just one minute. So welcome everyone. Uh, let's start then. So welcome uh, to the third class of the week in this uh, new module that we are just starting. Okay. So let me just one second over here. Mr. Douglas. Hello, sir. Good evening. Miss Susanna. Um, Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. All right. So just one second here. Okay. Uh This is the last thing that we did yesterday, uh, as far as I remember. So you were practicing daily routines, the uh, simple present daily routine. So uh, yesterday you completed some activities to talk about the third person, okay? So remember when you talk about somebody else, cuando, cuando usted habla acerca de una tercera persona, el verbo tiene que cambiar. And this is what we did yesterday, right? For example, you say, uh, uh, Sarai uh, wakes up uh, half past seven. That's, that's correct. But if you say, uh, Susana, wake up at half past seven, that's incorrect, grammatically speaking. So when you talk about some, somebody else, you have to add an S most of the time or in, in other cases, you have to add ES. Like for example, you say, um, my mom watches TV every day. You can say that. So, or my brother watches uh, movies every night. ¿verdad? Le agrega la ES o le agrega solamente una S. And I will keep on reminding you about this. O sea, yo le voy a seguir recordando because this takes time, okay? Using the uh, simple present to talk about routines or talk about your job. It's easy if you talk about yourself. Cuando uno habla de uno mismo, ¿verdad? Si usted habla de, en primera persona, usted va a decir, I wake up, I get up, I go to work, okay? I have lunch. But if you talk about somebody else, in there, we are in trouble. Ahí donde nos, ponemos en pro, nos metemos en problemas cuando hablamos acerca de una tercera persona, okay? So, in this class tonight, we will continue talking about this, but the main focus of uh, this class is how much and how many. So, in this class, you will learn how to use how much and how many. Vamos a aprender el uso del how much and how many in this class, okay? So, let's see who we have in, in the house right now. Vamos a ver quién está ahorita presente en la clase. All right. So just one second over here. 
And I answer hello, uh, Mr. Cesar, Mr. Francisco, and then I have Catherine joining the house. All right. Good evening, everyone. All right, so let's let's start with the class. Okay, as part of the class routine, we always start with some vocabulary and the word or the phrase that I have ready for you tonight is easy way out. La frase de esta noche es easy way out. Okay? So, Wednesday, March the 3rd, 2021, the word or phrase of the day is the following. Take the easy way out. What does this mean? It, it means it means uh, an easy way of doing something or of dealing with a problem but not the right way not the right way or the best way la frase de esta noche es take the easy way out que significa salirse por la tangente eh, um, buscar la, la forma más fácil de hacer algo ¿verdad? take the easy way out all right okay so that's the meaning of take the easy way out to give you an example sentence here we go. He gets what he wants by hard work, never by taking the easy way out. Okay? So, no buscamos el camino más corto. Eso significa esa frase, ¿verdad? Easy way out. And how do you use it in a sentence? Uh, you have to say, I never take the easy way out. Or you can also say, I, I know some people who take the easy way out, all right? Take the easy way out, salirse por la tangente, eh, tomar o agarrar el camino más corto, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? So uh, that's the meaning of it. What would be the opposite, all right? The opposite is the hard way. Sometimes, sometimes in life or at work, en el trabajo en la vida, we learn lessons the hard way. En la vida aprendemos lecciones, ya sea de una, fa, de una, farme, de una forma fácil, in an easy way or in a hard way, ¿verdad? De la forma más difícil o de la forma más dura, okay? So this is the vocabulary that I have for you this evening, my brother. All right, so do you have any questions about it or not? Salirse por la tangente, ¿verdad? Take the easy way out. And what's the opposite? It's do things the hard way, ¿verdad? De la forma correcta, de la forma que debe ser, o aprender lecciones de una forma difícil, ¿verdad? Okay. So, I can see Rocio is, is in the class already. So, um, good evening. So, just a reminder over here. In this class, after 10 p.m., we will start with the one-on-one -on -one sessions, which is like a reinforcement. It's, you know, you and some uh, and me for 10 minutes, talking about uh, how to uh, speak English in a better way. I, I'm going to give you tips. I will give you suggestions, you know, how to speak English in a better way. De se tratan las sesiones de uno en uno, ¿verdad? Ese refuerzo, sesiones privadas, de darle consejos y formas que usted puede ir mejorando. Okay, that's what the one-on-one -on -one sessions is about. If you are asking me, so how to join, you know how to do it, right? This is just a reminder. So all you have to do is, you go to the WhatsApp chat and in there, you, you will see the uh, this post, which was uh, sent to us early in the, like at noon. Esto lo mandaron a mediodía, it's over there. And that's how you join the one-on-one. -on -one. Who is scheduled tonight for the one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions? We have Mr. Baltasar. Let's see if he's available right now. Todavía no está Mr. Balta. And uh, Claudia, uh, so your turn, Claudia. Si puede unirse, it's up 10, 10. Hello, Mr. Melendez. Um, entonces, Claudia se está programada a las 10 y 10. And then you have Zulma. Zulma is not in the house yet, but your term is... Uh, 1020, Francisco, sir, uh, your term is at 1030, 1040. 
I, I was checking the platform and I was able to see that you are the one, one of the ones who already completed the platform, Francisco, which is great. Okay, which is great. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, and then we have Susana. Uh, it's your term is from 1040 to 1050 over there. Vamos a tratar de, de terminar la clase tipo 10, 10, 10 y 2, 10 y 3, lo más, para unirnos inmediatamente a las sesiones privadas. Ok. All right. So, and we will continue with this. So, just to finish with the topic on, on the simple present time expressions, uh, let's review something. Ok. Repasemos algo. Eh, very quickly, o sea, rap, rápidamente, uh, let's take a look at at, in, on and these uh, phrases in there, right? And then you will be working uh, in pairs or in groups of three to, to complete this exercise. Explico brevemente el uso de at, in, on, and these uh, time expressions. Y luego los, los dejo, verdad, para que trabajemos, completemos esto. And then we do this one, this schedule, you know, Brian's weekly schedule, all right? What I'm telling you is that Vamos a hacer esto en dos pasos. So we will complete this in two steps. I will explain in and at on and then some time expressions. And then I will uh, uh, send you to the breaker rooms to practice this exercise, the one that you're looking at in the screen, like el ejercicio que están viendo en la pantalla, and this one. Entonces usted en el breaker room lo que va a hacer es fill in the blanks with this, at, in, or on, and work on this uh, weekly schedule on Brian's schedule over there. Okay. Esa es la primera práctica que vamos a tener de los breaker rooms over there. All right. So as far as I remember, según me acuerdo, okay, we covered this in the previous uh, module. And I think this is clear already, but I need to, uh, let's say, refresh your mind. ¿Verdad? Necesito refrescar un poquito la mente, eh, su memoria, con, con cómo se utilizan estas, estas cuestiones. I'm going to underline, voy a subrayar la excepción al caso de, este, de estas palabras. Ok. So, this is an exception. Sometimes you don't really need to use this one over here. Esta frase, weekend, fin de semana, puede ir en otra categoría de on, all right? So that's why we're not going to pay attention to this right now. So I don't want you to get confused. No quiero que se me confunda. Okay. For example, if I ask someone over here, um, let's see, Mr. Caesar. Sir. Yes. Hi. Yes. I'm going to ask you a question, all right? So let me ask you a question. Okay, so okay. let me ask you a question, thank you. So what time do you have lunch? Let's see, every day. Um, at at uh, 12, 30 p.m. All right, okay, you can say at 12, 30 p.m. You can also tell me around, but in this case, we use at, for time, right? At two o'clock, at one, at three, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay. So we also use at for holidays, you know, at Christmas, at Easter, but this one is not very common, right? Entonces vamos a ponerle aquí que es como la mitad verdad de esto, ¿verdad? Que decimos at Christmas, at Easter. Recuérdense que ocupamos para, para fechas, ocupamos on, y es más apropiado ocupar on Christmas, on vacation, okay, on Eastern, okay, at, se utiliza, pero there is confusion over there, okay, so at for periods of time, and this way you know it already, usted dice at noon, at midday es lo mismo que decir at noon, mediodía es lo mismo, pero si usted dice midday, Esto se utiliza bastante en, en Inglaterra, right? In the United Kingdom. But you say at night, at midnight, at noon, right? That's what you say over there. So, in simple words, en pocas palabras, you have to use, tiene que utilizar at 
when you talk about the time, okay? For holidays, Semana Santa, right? So at, at Easter, right? Easter es como la, la celebración, para así decirles, pagana, porque esa es la palabra en realidad, o secular de Semana Santa, ¿verdad? Que es el, el, el domingo de Pascua, que es donde, donde rompen huevos en the United States, right? So that's Eastern, okay? Here in Latin American countries, we say Holy Week, okay? Semana Santa, literal, Holy Week, okay? And the word holidays, como el, el hotel, Holiday Inn, holiday is festividades. Or here in El Salvador, a holiday is un asueto, okay? A holiday is a sweat, all right? Like September, like May the 1st, like December 25th, es un asueto. Entonces la traducción para nosotros de holiday es asueto, okay? O celebración, all right? And in, over here, of course, you have the, uh, the translation, right? Eastern, okay? De hecho, Eastern, traducción es Pascua, ¿verdad? Semana Santa es Holy de Santo y luego uh, Week de Semana, right? Holy Week, all right? But if you say uh, on Eastern or at Eastern, o si dice Holy Week, la gente le va a entender, okay? People will understand you over there. So let's continue. Next slide. In, we use in for periods of time in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, okay? We use it for years in 2001, in 2021, in 2000, etc., etc., right? Okay. El muro de Berlín cayó en 1899, 1989, right? Okay. World War II finished 1945. El Salvador's uh, first earthquake happened, el primer terremoto de Salvador on, on this uh, century. It happened on January 13, right? Okay, you say on January, on, but así digo la fecha, pero solamente digo el año, in 2001, all right? Et cetera, et cetera. So remember, for years, we use in. For months, we use in as well, okay? When do we celebrate Mother's Day? When do we celebrate Mother's Day, uh, Francisco? When do we celebrate Mother's Day? The month. You're muted, eh, Mr. Francisco, if you can help me. Si me, si me ayuda a responder. What month do we celebrate Mother's Day? In May. Correct, yes, it's in May. Yes, sir, yes. And I'm going to uh, ask you another question. Uh, when uh, does Semana Santa or the Holy Week start this year, the month? And the month is in, in April, not March, yeah. this month. Yeah. yeah, it actually starts on March the 28th with uh, yeah. Palm, Palm Sunday, Palm Sunday, all right? Ya lo marqué en el calendario, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, so it's Palm, como de palmera, y luego Sunday, Palm, como Palm Beach, yeah? Palm Sunday, Domingo de Ramos, okay? Mm -hmm. it's, it's on March the 28th. But since in this case, we're talking about, uh, and now Francisco, let me ask you, sir. Uh, when does the Holy Week or Easter finish? What month? And I think it's in, in April. Okay, it ends in April, right? Yes, okay. Thank you. If you talk about seasons, you gotta use summer. In El Salvador, we only have two seasons, right? Mostly, right? Época lluviosa y época seca, right? Technically, that's how we were supposed to, to, you know, to, let's see, to define. Así debemos de definir en El Salvador, ¿verdad? We don't really have winter. We don't really have summer, right? But we will have época seca, you know, dry season and rainy season. That's what we have in El Salvador, right? La época seca, dry season and rainy season over here. But if you want to talk about, for example, this month, today, right? It's very hot, right? It's been very, very hot, too hot, right? Why? Because we are in summer, we can say, right? This is summer, right? In summer. Si usted habla 
de eh, las estaciones del año va a ocupar in, right? In spring, in autumn, otoño. Puede decir spring, autumn, fall. Fall es otoño porque se caen las hojas, ¿verdad? Fall, F-A-L, F-A-L-L, fall. And then you have winter or winter, all right? So, basically. Entonces, in is used for periods of time, for years, for months, and for seasons over there. Okay, remember that, please. What about on? If you use a specific day of the week, like uh, I can tell you, when do you usually eat pupusas in the week? I'm going to ask um, maybe Rocio, <laughs> Miss Pimentel. When do you usually buy pupusas? When? Or what day? On, on Sunday evening. Yeah, most likely. Uh, in, my, night. <laughs> in my case, it's on Saturday, uh, on Saturday evening. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's in my case. <laughs> okay. But the point is, if you use a date of the week, you have to say on, right? Now, let me ask you, what do you do? On, on Friday night at 8 p.m., let, let's say, now that you are studying English. Cuando no estoy en clase. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I watch TV or uh, I'm read a book. Okay. Um, so on a Friday night, right? Okay. Thank you. Okay, so dates of the week, all right? With dates of the week, you also have to say, uh, like for example, uh, on Monday morning, on Friday night, on Saturday morning, on Sunday morning, etc., etc. Okay, on Thursday afternoon. Primero va el on, then you have the day, and then the specific part, okay? El sábado en la noche, on Saturday night, right? Like, just like the movie, right? Just like the moon, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So for dates, uh, days of the week and specific dates, you use on, right? Okay. Let me just mute your microphone over here, everyone. Thank you. All right. So remember, at for time, periods of time. In for years and for months, all right, basically, and and then on for a for a day. For example, tonight is. I mean, you can say uh, on Wednesday, March the third, two thousand twenty-one. For example, Claudia can say, "I had the one-on-one session, right? Esta fecha, right? On this date." Okay, you, you can say on, right, on this one. Next one, simple present time expressions. Every day, every night, every week, every year, every month. Y como la ocasión, verdad, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, once or one time a week, usted puede decir fácilmente, puede decir, One time a week or once a week. Lo correcto es decir once a week. Two times a week or twice a week. Okay. Three times a week. Ahí sí no puede decir de otra forma, right? Three times a week, four times a week. Si dice five times a week, mejor diga on weekdays, ¿verdad? Si es que son seguidos, ¿verdad? If it's like in a row, ¿verdad? In a row. Para decir como seguido, usted dice in Luego dice A y luego row como fila, R-O-W, in a row. Okay. Digamos que usted hace ejercicio tres días a la semana y tres días seguidos, usted dice, I exercise three days in a row, in a row, R-O-W, R-O-W. I'm going to write it down over here, right? Perdón, me quedo poco chueca la, la R, right? Row, ok. In a row. Okay. 
in a row. Esto se lo digo porque de repente usted dice ah, dos días seguidos, ¿verdad? Entonces, that's, that, that one you can say, right? In a row, ¿ok? Dos meses seguidos, right? Two months in a row, ¿ok? So that's what you say in there. So once a week, twice a week, three times a week. All right, week, uh, you say once a year, once a month, etc., etc. For example, when, Mr. Mr. Melendez, Raul, when, no, 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 how often, how often do you do the taxes statement? How mm. often do you pay Hacienda, you know, the treasurer? <laughs> April 30. Yeah, but is that twice a year, once a year? Once. Yes, all right? Once, once a, a year. year. It's once a year, right, yes. Or you can, you can also say every year, right? Every year. You can say every year, right? Yes, <clears throat> that's what we say. Now, ahora aprovechando hacerle una pregunta, Y para eh, decir casi todos los días. Almost, almost every day. Almost, almost every day. Almost ah, es casi. Así como uh -huh. la selecta, ¿verdad? Casi, ¿verdad? <risa> <risa> es que yo casi todos los días como pupusa. <risa> <risa> casi me levanto temprano, ¿verdad? Almost, right? <risa> casi hago ejercicio, ¿verdad? Almost, right? Ok. So, um... Now, let me ask you, uh, how often uh, is there a año bisiesto, a leap year, año bisiesto? How often do we have a leap year? Um, uh, each uh, four years, or cada cuatro años? Every, every four years. Every four years. Lip. Okay. Esto es bisiesto. Lip. Okay. Lip. Lip. Okay. Every four Lip. years. Every four years we have. And last year, right? No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Imagine 2020. 2020. <laughs> Año para ser más raro. That was a, a unique, unique, ¿verdad? Único. Unique. Unique year. All right. Thank you, sir. So, remember. Para fechas o para días, you say on, right? Dates and days of the week, right? You say on. For years and for months, you say in. Si usted lo mira de menor a mayor, de lo más chiquito, you know, the smallest amount, you say at, ¿verdad? Dividimos el día en tres, you say at. Okay, most likely. Okay. Hay excepciones, right? There are some exceptions. And, but then you go with things which are bigger, that con, con cantidades más grandes, like years and months. And seasons, se utiliza in. For uh, days of the week and for dates, all right? You say, um, on, right? And now I'm going to ask you another question. I mean, in this case, I will ask, um, let's see who I can ask over here. All right, this is going to be a personal question over here. All right, it's gonna be a, per, a personal question right here. Um, a quien no le he preguntado. Let me ask you, all right. So Juan Carlos, do you hear me, sir? Juan Carlos, yes? All right, I guess you don't over there. But there's some problem over there. All right, so I'm gonna ask you, Mr. Eduardo. <laughs> if you don't mind, sir. Okay. Yeah, tell me. All right, so let me ask you, sir. Uh, this is a personal question, right? So it's a personal question. Are you married? No, I'm not. All right, okay. So I'm gonna ask an, an, somebody else over here. So. Mr. Douglas uh, Vasquez, are you married, sir? Douglas, are you married? Yes, teacher, sorry. Yeah, are you married? Uh, Do you have a wife? Uh, <laughs> That's why it's personal, right? It's a personal question, the one I'm asking right now. <laughs> <Or not. laughs> 
no comments. <laughs> no, no, no le comprendo, no le comprendo, no le comprendo lo que me quiero preguntar. ¿Verdad? If you have a ring in your finger, ¿tiene un anillo en su dedo? Do you have a ring in, on, in your finger? No. No, no, right. no. Okay, no, no. Sorry. okay ah, otro que se libra. <laughs> Di quiero, dice. <laughs> okay, Raúl, let me ask you, sir. Are you married? Or... Yes, All right. I'm married. Un valiente, salió un valiente. <laughs> Eight, 18 years old. 18, 18 years, years ago. Right. 18 years ago, right? Nació otra vez, all right? So, yeah, so, and when is your anniversary? You know, your wedding anniversary, sir? Um, last week, 26th, February 26th. Nice, well, okay, so you should be celebrating. <laughs> A diamond. Yeah, yeah, nice. So you see, we use on for, for the special dates. Like in this case, it's your wedding anniversary, right? Which you remember. Usted me dijo la vez pasada que uh, you have a, a son, right? Or hijo o hija, I don't remember. Son or daughter or two. Yes. But one no. is, it's about to be a, a bachiller, right? Yes. It's about to graduate from high school. All right. So 18 years ago, right? So your daughter or your boy was born, right? It's, it's a two boys. It's a boy. All right. So it's a boy. Okay. So it's a, it's a boy over there. All right. Thank Seven, you. Sir. 17 years old. He is 17 more there. Thank you. Nice. So um, that what you're going to do right now is complete these conversations with at, in, or on, or in this case, if, if a preposition is not necessary, you don't have to use anything more there. Remember that we, you have four conversations. You have conversation one, conversation two, number three, and number four. And all you gotta do is use at, in, or on. And sometimes you leave it empty, ¿verdad? Deja vacío, ¿verdad? Empty, ¿verdad? Empty or in blank, all right? Empty. Uh, cuando, se va, cuando vacían el agua de la pila, you know, you say, it's empty, right? <laughs> okay, empty. Combustible. El combustible, right? It's empty, por eso que está la E, ¿verdad? Está la F ahí, ¿verdad? Empty and full, all right? So, that's the first thing you have to do in the break room. The second thing, you have this boy over here. His name is Brian, all right? His name is Brian in there. And then you have the schedule. You have this schedule, you know, he's very lucky. Este, este señor no hace nada, si se fija, ¿verdad? You don't have anything on Tuesday. You don't have anything over there, right? <laughs> Nini, quizá, ¿verdad? Nini. <laughs> All right. So you have a get up, go to work, have lunch. Ah, no, lo estamos jugando mal, ¿verdad? Porque over here is go to work over here. It's the same schedule, ¿verdad? Lo juzgamos mal, ¿verdad? Entonces, this, this is the routine, okay? Have lunch, drink coffee, finish work, go to school, play tennis. Y es pudiente, ¿verdad? He plays tennis, right? All right? Plays tennis over there. <laughs> go to school and play plays tennis in, in, in twice a week, as you can say it in there, ¿verdad? No es sencillo. Twice a week in there. All right. And uh, have dinner with friends. Y todavía le alcanza para ir a comer con los amigos, as you can say it over there, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all you gotta do is take a look at the uh, hour or the time, eight, nine, noon, three, five, the hour, and then the days of the week, six, Tuesday and Thursday, and six and Friday, right? Okay, so what you have to do is in groups of three, you have to uh, speak about Brian's schedule. Remember, this is not a writing activity, ¿verdad? No es un ejercicio de escritura, okay? It's a speaking activity. Es una, una, una actividad para hablar, right? Of course, you can write it down. Puede escribir respuesta. You can write statements. But I'm not asking you, ¿verdad? Yo no les estoy, no les estoy pidiendo ni, ni les solicito de que usted lo escriba, right? So I'm not asking you about this. So, sin más preámbulo, let me send you to the breaker room. You will practice this. You will practice the schedule and then you will come back to continue with the class. Okay.
So basically, that's what you're going to do. All right, here we go. Mr. Baltazar, good to see you, sir. Mr. Oscar, and I have Catherine over there as well. All right, hello. And Mr. Nelson as well in there. Hello, sir. So let me just one second. Groups of three right now in here. All right. All right, so the rooms are open, so go ahead and join them. One, I am, but I go to bed. And then... Early, early is... Very man. Early. Early, no me acuerdo que quiere decir early. Temprano. Temprano, entonces estás, ese Ay. día, si estamos, momento del día. No, pero en este caso, César, uh, tenemos cuatro posibilidades. At, in, on, ah. or nothing. Ah, entonces acá podría yes, ser. Do. Lo dejen blanco. Nothing. No, lo dejen blanco. A eso me refiero. Lo dejaríamos mm -hmm. en blanco. Uh -huh. Y en esta parte de aquí, quick day, finish on, on, en ese se ha Yeah, correct. On quick day. Yes. Quick day. Okay, number two. Do you study, study. in the after afternoon? Un ratito me falla, no sé por qué. Vaya, ahora sí. Lo pueden ver. Sí, sí. ¿Lo puedo ver, sí, Anayan? Sí, sí, gracias. Bye. Vaya, dice. Complete the, this conversation with a in or on. If you don't need a preposition, right. Vaya, no sé cómo lo vamos a ir haciendo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you... Es de ir poniendo, ¿verdad? At o in o on. Or on. Ajá. Ah, no, pues. Vaya. 
La primera, hagamos. Está bien. Do you... Do you go to bed? Yes, do you go to bed late on weekends? Okay. Teacher, solo ahí no entiendo algo. ¿Por uh -huh. qué, digamos, dice que no necesita la preposición? Ahí por eso le ha puesto usted la, el, el símbolo, simbolito ese de redondito. El símbolo de, de el vacío, ¿verdad? De, eso significa. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Exacto. Ah, que no tiene Pero, que poner nada. Exacto. Cuando, cuando usted lo dice, lo va a decir solo. Do you go to bed late on weekends? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Over there. Yes. Bueno, las, ah, bueno, entonces esa ya está. Hagamos la dos. Vez. Ah, no es la B. La respuesta. Uh -huh. Yes, I do. I go to bed. I do get up in the morning. What time do you get up in the morning on weekdays? Mm -hmm. on, week, on weekdays. On weekdays. On weekdays. I get up at 8 a.m. every day. Mm -hmm. Do you have English class in the morning? In the morning, no, I have English at 8 p.m. Uh, <laughs> no, I have English no. <laughs> at 8 p.m. until 10 p.m. <laughs> no es de Dios, no es de Dios. <laughs> Ay, si yo les contar lo que me ha tocado hacer en horas no hábiles. Ah, bueno. <risa> Vamos a ver. Eh, no, I have English at 1.30 p.m. Eh, no, at 1.30 in, in the afternoon on Tuesday and Thursday. On Tuesday and Thursday. On Monday, Wednesday and Fridays, our class is at 6 p.m. Professionals, you're professionals with this, right? Like this. <risa> nice. Vaya. Nice. Ay, pero si me pregunto en unos 10 minutos, ya me olvidó. <risa> Tiene el mal de COVID. Ajá, el mal del COVID. <risa> del COVID, Brian. Va, hoy vamos con este, vea. Yes, sir. Yes. Dice, escriba acerca de el horario semanal. Va. Eso lo tenemos que poner, supongo que aquí abajo va. Pero en este caso, you just have to speak, right? So, like you do it, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, vamos a ver. Dice, he's get up at 8 a.m. every day. Uh -huh. He gets up, gets up, and gets, gets up. up. Eh, luego dice, he goes to work. He goes to work. Uh -huh. Yes. He goes to work. Uh -huh. Uh, at night at every 9 a.m. Uh -huh. every day. Luego dice he has no. Yes, yeah, he yes, has, yes. He has lunch uh, at noon every yes, day. Sir. Yes. Luego sería then he drink uh, coffee. Uh -huh. Drinks. Ah, uh, he drinks, drinks coffee. coffee. Uh -huh. uh, at 3 p.m. every day. And he finish. Finishes. He finishes. 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 Fin uh -huh. He go. The second one He go to work. Uh -huh. At night, I am. Ajá. Bien disimulado. Eh? Así lo quería ayer. <laughs> Estudiando, practicando, practicando. No, no, no. Just one, y esto a usted le va a caer como balde de agua fría, ¿verdad, Rocío? Just a friendly reminder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> este, goes, gets, has, drinks, finishes, goes, plays, etc. Third person. He gets, ok. Mm -hmm. Just that. Está bien. Hmm. Goes. Ya lo anoté. He gets, he gets. He gets. 
and and he go go he, he goes. Ajá. En esa sería o oh, u oh, o oh, u goes goes. He go he goes goes. goes. He goes. He goes to work. To work. Yes. Mm -hmm. At nine. I am. Uy, y al mediodía qué hace? Uh, he has. Lunch. He has lunch. Lunches. Yeah, perfect. He has lunch. Correct. He has, he has lunch. lunch. At noon. Yes. Uh, three. Uh, three p.m. He drinks coffee. He drinks coffee. He drinks coffee. Yes. Drinks coffee. Mm -hmm. Con semita. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> five. At five. He finished. Uh -huh. En ese finishes. caso sería finishes. Le agregamos es. Finishes. Uh, finishes. Finish. Como watches, catches, etc. Esto es un talón de Aquiles para mí. Yes, it is. He finished Era. work. Finishes. Uh, en ese caso. Finish. Finishes. Work. Finishes work, work. Uh -huh. at 5 p.m. Yes. And she goes, she, no, he, he goes to school. <gasps> Six. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. He goes to school. At six on Mondays and Wednesdays. Yes, correct. Yes. <laughs> at, at six. On Mondays. Yeah, Mondays and? Mondays and Wednesdays. And Wednesdays, Wednesday. Wednesday. correct, yes. Nice. Wednesdays, Wednesdays. Entonces ahí sería, he finishes work. He finishes work. Teacher. Yes, sir. All right, so you are on numbers. Which one are you? Five, right. Five. Number five, five. yeah, correct. Seven. Yeah, finishes, correct. Number finishes work. Six. Number six. Number six is. Pero ahí puedo poner como la salida del trabajo. Yeah, that's what you're saying, my brother. That's what you're saying. Es lo que está diciendo, de hecho. Ajá, uh -huh. ahora salida del trabajo. Finish exactly. work, exactly. exactly. Number six, right. Monday and Wednesdays. Uh -huh. Wednesdays. Que buscar Mondays and Wednesday. At 5 p.m. Same. No, no, no. 6 p.m. I should. 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. Go to school. He goes, goes to school. Yeah, goes, goes to school. Goes to school. Uh huh. You can also say he goes to school twice a week on Wednesdays ah, twice a week. and on twice Wednesdays a week. and Mondays. No. Or, or, or you can also say on on Mondays and Wednesdays evening he goes to school. No, he goes to school. Perfect. If you already know the time, right? Because it's 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Number seven. Baltasar number seven, six Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm -hmm. At six. At six. Tuesday and Thursday. Play tennis. Uh -huh. He plays tennis twice a week. Sería, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. ¿Va entendiendo, Baltasar? Sí, más o sí, menos. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Perdón, es que uh -huh. me conecté súper tarde, venía corriendo y por eso no escuché la uh -huh. uh, ya yeah. la, la explicación. Ajá, muy bien. Entonces nos falta la última, que es la 8. Uh -huh. Las 6 Fridays. ¿Cómo, yes, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo haría la oración entonces, Baltasar? La 8. La 8. Ahí, ahí está la clave de 6 en Fridays. Solo hay que buscar en el 
en el horario. Oh, en las coordenadas. Uh -huh. So, Mr. Baltasar, uh, look at the screen, please, sir. Mire mi pantalla, eh, Mr. Baltasar. Okay. All right. So, you, you take a look at the time over here. So, 6 p.m. It's over here, right? 6 p.m. And then the date is over here, right? Friday. And this is the action. Okay. Comenzamos sujeto, verbo, complemento, right? Subject, the verb, and the time expression in there. So, you have to say, okay. Brian... Luego la acción. What's the action? Brian. What, what friend? Yeah, have. Have dinner. Have. But you have to conjugate. I have dinner. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. You have to conjugate. Have dinner. Tienes uh -huh. que conjugarlo. ¿Cómo dice eh, comer en tercera persona? Have diners. Has. 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 Has, has dinner. Has, has dinner with friends. Dinner. And then uh -huh. what time? Dinner. At six. Okay. When? On Fridays. Yes, right that. And then you put everything together. You still put it commensar. A good practice is to start with the time. At six p.m. He has dinner with friends. Dinner. Has dinner. With friends. When? Mr. Baltasar, when? when? Cuando? When? Okay. Dígame, when? Uh, what day? Fridays. On Fridays, right? Yes, that's how you say. Uh -huh. Podemos uh -huh. darle vuelta a la tortilla. Usted puede comenzar uh, on Fridays at 6 p.m. He has dinner with friends. Okay? okay, or, you okay. Can, or you can go at 6 p.m. He has dinner with friends on Friday. O sea que las expresiones de tiempo usted las puede mover. Ok. Lo que no puede ah, mover, no. Lo que no puede mover eh, es el orden del sujeto y del verbo. El sujeto. You, can, you cannot change that. All right. You cannot change that. All right. Nice. Okay. Now, but let's do something else over here because this is supposed to be a speaking practice. All right. And it has to be fluent. ¿Verdad? Tiene que ser fluido. So, fluido. take terms, take terms, practicing. This as a conversation, like for example, uh, Mr. Francisco, let's mm -hmm. practice number one together, you and I, tocayos, and then practice again with Mr. Baltasar, number three and four. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, number okay. one, I start, if you don't mind. Do you go to bed late on weekends? Yes, I do. I go to bed at 1 a.m., mm -hmm. but I go to bed very early. Podría ser ahí en ese espacio. Very early mm -hmm. on, on weekdays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say go to bed early on weekdays. Yeah, that, that's okay. If you want to emphasize something, you have to say very or something like that. Or you just leave it like that. No dice nada más. Okay, mm. it's up to you. All right, it's up okay. to you. Okay. okay, so and then Mr. Batasar, you continue continue doing the same. ¿verdad? De eso se trata, no. ¿verdad? Pero ya, ya okay. le voy a... Necesito. On this one, uh, Francisco, Mr. You have to practice maybe just like this. Si usted quiere, you can look at the, the statements over here or just look at the schedule in here. It's up to you. So mm. in theory, o sea, in teoría, you have to tell me about Brian's schedule without looking at the uh, at these statements. Or si mirar abajo, me lo puede decir. So you can tell me, uh, Brian, so on Mondays, he gets up, uh, okay, he gets up uh, at 8 a.m., Every day, I would say, for la flechita, you see the arrow border, okay? Uh, he goes to work at 9 a.m. Every single day, si me quiere enfatizar, every single day, right? Cada día, right? And, and you continue, right? At, 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 at noon, he has lunch, at 3 p.m., etc., etc. And then you tell me the story over there, all right? That's what you should okay. do. Eso es lo que deberíamos de hacer. All right? Please. But Mr. Balta and Mr. Francisco, please practice conversation two, three, and four very quickly. You have like two or three minutes. Okay? Hey, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay. empezar entonces la dos. Okay. Sí, la dos. Do you study on, on Thursday and... To, no. On Thursday or on Thursday at six. Hola, teacher. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. 
Porque si sí, el, el, el ¿Cuál otro, es cuál? Sí. Solo estoy haciendo el último que sería el de el Friday, que sería he, he has diners with friends and six. Diner. Ya terminamos. Ya, yeah, I can see that. De hecho, ya me fui. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's do something, uh, Claudia, uh, si gusta. Sí. Tell, tell me number two, three, y dígame number six, please. Estas que le marqué, por favor. Two, three, and six. My, uh, two. He goes to work at night every day. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Eh, el tres. He has lunch at um, 12. Yeah, you can say 12 p.m. or noon, ¿verdad? Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. Every day. Yes, yes. Y luego el seis. Eh, he goes to school on Monday and Thursday at six. Yes. Correct. Algo, algo que me sorprende es que ustedes sí se dieron cuenta de la flechita. <risa> ¿De cuál flechita? O no, no, por lo menos aquí si se fija. Aquí ah, sí, sí. Ajá. Sí, porque era eh, toda, toda, la, toda semana. la semana. Toda la semana, ajá. Tenía ajá. El, mismo, el mismo horario. Ajá. La, no la es misma... que los otros días no trabajó. <risa> Exacto. <risa> Solo los lunes trabajaba. ¿eh? Exacto. Por eso le decía que <risa> era Nini <risa> no estudia ni trabaja en este caso medio trabaja un día ah, sí. <risa> All right, Mr. Oscar if you help me sir with ya le digo with number 8 lo voy a circular number 8 and number 4 si gusta number 4 yes sir he, uh, his drink his uh, drinks Aquí va con eso al final. Coffee uh -huh. at, the, at three every day. Every day, right? Yes, at three every day. Thank you. And number eight, please. Eight. Um, he is. He has a dinner. Uh, aquí sería esto. In, in Friday uh, at six. Yes, correct. Yes. Pa para que se nos haga quizás un poco más fácil, cuando tengamos hora, comenzamos con la hora y luego decimos lo demás. Podemos decir ah, at, at, at 6 p.m. Uh -huh. At 6 p.m. Y, y de ahí vamos a decir el día, ¿verdad? O sea, primero la hora y después uh -huh. el día. Uh -huh. Ajá, primero, exacto, decimos at 6 p.m. on Fridays, Friday. he has dinner has with done. friends. Eso puede hacer, ¿verdad? O si no, dice la acción. Usted dice. Eh, yo tengo dinner. una pregunta. Eh, dinners llevaría la S, ¿verdad? Dinner es cena. Es, es cena. solamente. Eh, no, el verbo es have. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está bien. Uh -huh. Sí. Entonces usted decide. Va a decir, uh, Brian has dinner with friends at 6 p.m. on Fridays. O puede decir, at 6 p.m. on Fridays. He has dinners. He, he has dinner with friends. Mm, lo que usted puede jugar es con la time expression. Al Ajá, no tenemos que empezar siempre con he. Exacto. Que es exacto. lo que nosotros hemos hecho. Exacto. Entonces eso le da tiempo para que usted piense, ¿verdad? Entonces y esa es una buena técnica. That's what I do. ¿verdad? Cuando se me olvida algo es como que ah, on Friday, on mm -hmm. Friday. <laughs> ya me quedo. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué hago? <laughs> Tengo que ir al banco y así va. Sí. Nice. Let's go back to the main station then. Regresemos. Let's go back. Bueno. Nice. Hello. En el pie. Eso de verlo a mí me dolía. Hello, hello. Es que ese, ese es bien pesado. Ya, ya terminamos, teacher. Yeah, I know. Sí. I know. Pero no ha regresado nadie o nosotros estamos en el... No, ya los, ya los, ya los jalé. Ah, ok. <ríe> sí. Nosotros dijimos, se olvidó de nosotros el teacher. Ah, no, 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 lo que pasa es que 
estaba ahí también la buena la plática en otro grupo. Ajá. <risa> sí. Estábamos contándonos la novela. Ah, sí. De esas, de esas novelas turcas que dan en, en el canal en el 12. Claro. En el canal Claro. Ah, no, no se pueden decir marcas en el canal que tiene una C y... No, sí se puede, pero lo, acuérdese que en Estados Unidos nos bajan canales internacionales, cosas, marcas reconocidas. ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Pero aquí en realidad no. No. Ok. So here we go. All right, so thank you everyone. Welcome back. So let's continue with this. Um, and here we go. Just a recap over here, right? Some feedback. For time expressions, you decide. You can start with the hour and then the day and finally the action. O sea, usted decide o comienza con la hora, luego el día y luego la acción o comienza con la acción, obviamente con el sujeto, and then with the hour, and finally with the day. You have two options. So you, you can start. Uh, for example, let's start on, on, let's see, play tennis on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I can tell you, at 6 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays, he plays tennis. But I can tell you, uh, Brian play te plays tennis on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 p.m., right? I can tell you that, okay? And I can also tell you uh, he plays tennis twice a week. Twice oh, a week. Twice a week. Twice a week. If I don't want to pay attention to the, the specific day, I just have to say, so how often do you, do you eat pupusas? I can tell you, right? How often do you eat pupusas a week? You can tell me once a week twice a week or every day, right? So <laughs> I don't judge you, but I'm not a school. Okay, so it's up to you over there, right? Pero primero va la hora y luego el día, right? That's the way it is. No importa si va al principio, at the beginning or at the end of the statement. Okay, so you decide, you decide over there. So once again, solo para que enfatizar un poquito. So you can say, in, in this case, Every day at eight o'clock, he gets up. Pero así suena raro, ¿verdad? That's why we say he gets up at eight o'clock every day or 8 a.m. En la vida real, usted va a decir, on Saturday night, I watch a movie. Un estreno en el Canal 6, mira. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, okay. my God. So you can say, On, on Saturday evening, I watch, no, it's on so, Sunday evening, I watch a Cantinflas movie on Channel 6. <laughs> <laughs> right? Es cierto, ¿verdad? So what did I have said? Right? <laughs> nice. Yeah, okay, so just like that, right? Entonces, you decide, usted decide si pone el día, la hora, lo que sea, al principio, o lo pone al final. Usted puede jugar con la time expressions, ¿ok? But, con lo que no puede jugar es con la gramática, ¿verdad? No, no se le olvide poner gets up, goes, has, drinks, finishes, uh, etcétera, etcétera. Esto me decían por ahí es Achilles knees, ¿verdad? Achilles over here, you know, ankle, ¿verdad? Es el talón, el talón de Achilles, over there, right? La tercera persona, ¿ok? And that's the way it is. All right, let's continue then. So um, at the end of this class, you, you are supposed to write five questions, okay? You can ask a classmate about a regular day as his work. Entonces lo que vamos a dejar es, al finalizar la clase, okay? Piense, pero para el día de mañana, so for tomorrow, five questions that you could ask Your classmates, ¿verdad? Pero yo sé que aquí uh, habemos colegas, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos colegas, obviamente, quizás trabajamos en, en departamentos distintos o tenemos distintas funciones. Piensen en hacerles preguntas, como ya nos conocemos, por lo menos hemos estado tres días juntos o hemos estado un mes juntos, ¿verdad? Right? So think five questions that you can ask your classmates. 
okay, about their routines. It could be at work or at home, right? So think about that, right? No lo vamos a hacer esta noche, pero por lo menos quiero que ustedes se lleven eso. Okay, five questions that you can ask your colleagues over here. Okay, your colleagues. So si trabaja en la misma empresa, ya sabe qué hace sus compañeros, como que no, no se pierde la naturaleza, ¿verdad? Desde de la actividad. So think about five questions that you could ask your classmates about their routines. Y usted puede pensar en esas cinco preguntas, like every day, que hace todos los días, or every, uh, every week, right? Or every month, okay? So daily is diariamente. Weekly, you know what it is, right? And monthly in there. Al año usted dice yearly, or every year, yearly. Okay, le agrega la L y la Y para decir anual. Yearly, you know, yearly, or annually, right? It's up to you, ¿verdad? Al año, yearly, okay? When, how often do you pay taxes for the treasury, para hacienda? You say uh, uh, yearly, you know, I pay taxes yearly, cada año, or every year, okay? And let's continue over there, okay. The next topic that we have for this class is how much it's it, right? So in this case, you will talk about prices, right? Give opinions, discuss preferences, make comparisons, and buy and sell things, ¿verdad? Si es bueno para las cachadas, you're gonna learn how to do this, right? Okay, let's continue. You're going to use this, that, these, those, one, and ones, and using how much, etc. Entonces va a ser comparaciones. You're going to make comparisons. And what's the uh, the most important thing you're going to learn? You're going to learn about prices. Yeah, yeah, the, the human word, prices, preferences, right? Etc. Etc. There we go. Un pequeño de un, un poco de humor. Let's see. Vamos a ver si si le saco una sonrisa. You see this one, All right? <laughs> you see this one, All right? Okay. Y voy a poner esto eh, debido a lo siguiente, right? It was due to this, All right? Desafortunadamente, you know, unfortunately, right? Unfortunately, uh, let's see, yes. Due to COVID-19, now it's customers wanted. It's no employees wanted, right? Now it's customers wanted. O sea, lo, las empresas están buscando clientes, ¿verdad? Gente que llegue a, a, a comer, ¿verdad? A comprar, you know, to buy, to do something, you know, to purchase stuff over there. That's why here is customers wanted, ¿verdad? Se buscan clientes. And it's open. Why? Due to COVID-19. Okay? Due to COVID-19. Por eso les decía, ¿verdad? Que yo actualizo esto, es porque el año pasado, cuando daba esto, tenía otra cosa normal, ¿verdad? <laughs> But now we have this one, right? It's customers wanted over there. Thank you. Nice. So, conversation, it's really pretty. Now, as I said before, uh, yeah, in this case, we're saying it's really pretty, all right? Really pretty, like the movie, right? Like Pretty Woman. Okay, same thing over there. Now you have the sales clerk, and then you have the customer in here, and then she's trying to buy something out of the store. So you have the sales clerk and the customer. So listen to the conversation, please. Eh, voy a arreglar algo acá para que se escuchen el audio. All right. So put on your uh, earpods, right? Your headsets. Pongámonos nuestros audífonos, right? This one, if you don't have. Because right now you're going to listen to a conversation right now. All right? We're going to listen to a conversation. And uh, let me mute your microphones. Lo voy a poner en silencio. Okay? So there are no interruptions over here. All right. But, you know, from now on, conversations will be divided in two parts. ¿Verdad? En un nivel uno solamente hacíamos la parte A, right? Part A. But now, 
there is going to be a follow-up listening, ¿verdad? La parte B nos va a dar la conclusión de esto, ¿verdad? Com ¿Compró o no compró el, el objeto? All right? Did she buy it or not? Okay. Listen, please. Unit three. How much is it? Page six. Hold on. Voy a arreglar el, el sonido, right? So let me turn up the volume over here. There we go. Teen exercise two conversation. It's really pretty. Part A. Listen and practice. Can I help you? Yes, thank you. How much are these gloves? The gray ones? They're $18. Oh, that's not bad. Do they come in black? No, sorry. Just gray. Okay. Um, how much is that scarf? Which one? The blue and orange one? No, the yellow one. Let's see. It's $24.95. It's really pretty. I'll take it. All right, so let me play it again, please. Okay? And now pay attention to uh, link sounds, please. I always tell you, please, please pay attention to the link sound. Siempre les, les sugiero que pongamos atención a las uniones de sonidos. Over there, right? And one more question I'm going to ask you. Les pregunto. Why they use once? ¿Por qué utilizamos muchas veces once over here? ¿verdad? No me conteste todavía, but pay attention, please. Why they use one over here? Why they use one over here again? Etc. etc. Okay, one over here again. So pay close attention more though. So one more time, please. Sorry. And sorry about that. Here we go. Unit three. How much is it? Page 16, exercise two, conversation. It's really pretty. Part A. Listen and practice. Can I help you? Yes, thank you. How much are these gloves? The gray ones? They're $18. Oh, that's not bad. Do they come in black? No, sorry, just gray. Okay. Um, how much is that scarf? Which one? The blue and orange one? No, the yellow one. Let's see. It's $24.95. It's really pretty. I'll take it. All right, so let's take a look at this place. So the sales clerk and the customer. Can I have please two volunteers who can practice the conversation in front of everybody over here? Your teacher. All right, go ahead, please. In... Las, do, las dos partes? No, Dalia, you're going to be the customer and then we need the sales clerk. Okay? Can I have another volunteer, please? Maybe a gentleman over here. Un valiente. <laughs> right? A gentleman over here to be the sales clerk. Please. Or would you like me to choose in here? Yes, thank you, uh, Mr. Francisco. Go ahead, please. You're the sales clerk. Please, sales clerk. Can I help you? Yes, thank you. How much are these gloves? The great ones, they are $18. Oh, that's not bad. Do they come in black? No, sorry, just gray. Okay, Um, how much is that scrap? Which one? The blue and orange one? No, the yellow one. Let's see, it's $24.95. It's really pretty. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, thank you. Uh, so you, when you want to buy something, you say, yeah, I'll have it. I'll take it, ¿verdad? Me lo llevo, I'll take it. Okay, lo compro, I'll take it. Okay, or, or, or I'll have it, you know, I'll, I'll take it. That's how you say. Thank you. Um, let me mute your microphones over here. And here we go. 
All right, so as you can see, they say, um, they say one or once, like in this case, they say once to replace the word that has, has been said already. Estamos reemplazando a gloves al decir once. Why? Because you're talking about how much are these gloves, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto valen estos guantes? The gray ones, ¿verdad? Los eh, grises, the gray ones. Yeah, they're 18, okay? You can say just $18, right? But aquí están siendo formales. That's why they say they're 18. But in real life, if I ask you how much is this cell phone, you say $18, right? Or you just say 18, okay? No tiene que decir they're, ¿verdad? They're 18. No, you just have to say 18. But in English, para reemplazar el objeto, o la persona que ya se mencionó, utilizamos once, si es plural, and then we use one if it's singular. Why? We have two items. You have gloves, the gray ones, los grises, $18, right? And then you go below, all right? How much is the scarf? La bufanda, right? Scarf. And then which one? ¿Cuál? Which one? ¿Cuál bufanda? Which one? Which one? Okay. And then uh, uh, the sales clerk says the blue and the orange one. ¿Verdad? La que es azul y es anaranjada, right? The blue and the orange one. And then the customer says, no, 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 no. The yellow one, ¿verdad? La amarilla, ¿verdad? The yellow one, okay? The yellow one. One, it's talking about the scarf, right? The scarf, right? That's what we're talking about there. Let's see, it's 24 95, ok it's 24.95 en realidad no tiene que mencionar que es dollars, you just have to say 24.95 uh, ok, or you can say 24.95 just like that right, y si fuera una cantidad exacta, it's 20 right, just like that it's really pretty, I'll take it or I'll have it, I'll buy it please ok any questions about this so far no questions. Uh, I'm going to exemplify it to you in the in the next uh, slide in there, right? But first of all, listen to the rest of the conversation. What else? Cuando yo le digo, ¿qué más es? What else? What else? What else? Right? ¿Qué otra cosa? What else? Does the customer look at? Does she buy it? ¿Qué más va a ver ella, verdad? Right? ¿Cómo se dice vitrinear? Existe esa palabra en inglés, de hecho. You say window, porque es verdad la vitrina, window de cristal, ¿verdad? De vidrio, window shopping. <laughs> okay, so window shopping. My question to you, is she window shopping right now or is she shopping something, verdad? ¿Está comprando o solo está vitrineando o mirando, right? Window shopping, okay? Window shopping. All right, so uh, let me just one second, please. Let me look for the audio so I can share it with you. Vamos a escuchar la segunda parte de la, de la conversación, Mother. Okay. And uh, one second, please. Page 16, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Yeah, that's the one. I found it, over there. Okay. Let me stop sharing the screen here. And I'm going to share uh, the conversation again. Okay. There you go. And this is the other part of the conversation. Now you're going to tell me, and in here you have to take notes. Entonces les pido que tomen, tomen nota, por favor. All right. And if, you, if your memory is good, right? So you don't have to take notes, but just to pay attention. ¿verdad? Vamos a, a poner atención. What else does the customer look at? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué otra cosa miró en la tienda? You know, look at. And does she buy it? ¿La compra o no la compra? Does she buy it over there? Okay, here we go. Page 16, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does the customer look at? Does she buy it? We have some nice hats over here. Oh, yeah? I need a new hat. They're on sale today only. 
Oh, they are nice. This red one is pretty. How much is it? It's twenty-six fifty. Hmm. I don't think so. Thanks anyway. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. In that case, she was window shopping, right? Yeah. She window shopped over there. So what else does she look at? Right? Can somebody tell me, please? What else? Sombrero. A hat, right? A hat. Thank you. All right. And do you remember the color of the hat? Red. Red. It was a red one, right? Ahí le agregamos el red one. A red, red one. one. A red one, right? Okay. You can say a red. That's okay. But to be uh, correct, grammatically speaking, you have to say the red one, the blue one, the, the black one, right? And uh, does she buy it? No. What does she say specifically? ¿Qué frase ocupa? What does she say specifically? I don't think so. I don't think so, right? No lo creo, right? I don't think so. Yes, that's why she said. 26 I don't... and 50. <laughs> Too expensive, right? <laughs> yeah. Too expensive. En el centro lo consigue a dos dólares. You know, two dollars. You know, downtown. <laughs> 150. 150, right? Yeah. It's a In virgin, the black market. Right? In the black market. <laughs> Pero ahí lo compro y afuera se lo quitan. <laughs> that happens over there. Okay. Thank you, sir. So um, that's it. But what matters to us is, si importa saber the black one, the blue one, y esa palabra, right, uh, et cetera. Um, but what matters right now to us is how much, right? Or how many, okay? How much, okay? Or how many? All right, let's continue here. How much and how many? Listen to, the, uh, to this explanation here. This is a summary. Uh, what I'm going to do with you, porque esto no se los he compartido todavía, so I haven't shared this with you. Se los voy a mandar y me comprometo mañana a mandarles un PDF un poquito más ordenado de las cosas que hemos visto eh, y lo que vamos a seguir viendo mañana. Okay. So I'm sending this to your WhatsApp right now as I'm speaking and I think you got it, right? Did you get it? Uh, Check, check your WhatsApp, please. Check your WhatsApp, if you don't mind, please. All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. So now, take notes, ask me questions, please, because I'll be explaining this to you, all right? Because what matters to me is the practice. So in five minutes or 10, I will I'll be, I'll be explaining this. Uh, when we want to know the quantity or amount of something, we ask questions starting with how much, and how many, cuando queremos saber la cantidad, how much and how many, okay? How much, I want to know the quantity or amount. How much is used with an uncountable noun? For example, how much sugar would you like, all right? How much sugar would you like? How much time do we have to finish? Y esta pregunta aplica para esta clase, verdad? How much time do we have to finish? You can tell me around, 35 minutes, right? Around 35 minutes, you can say that. How much money do you have before payday? <laughs> How much money do you have before the next payday? Para la siguiente quincena o el siguiente día de pago. How much money do you have left? Okay. Uh, or at work sometimes. How much patience? Cuanta paciencia. How much patience do you have? with your customers, cuanta paciencia, right? How much patience do you have with your customers? You may say a lot, right? A lot, or too much patience, demasiado. How much money did you spend, uh, let's see, on your last anniversary, Raul? Cuanto dinero gastó en su aniversario? Okay, <laughs> all right? A reasonable, reasonable, reasonable amount, right? Una cantidad razonable, verdad? <laughs> I don't know, maybe 50 bucks. 50 bucks. All right. So, how much milk is in the fridge, right? In este caso, si no toma leche, crema, right? How much cream is there in the fridge, right? La que le pone al pan francés, right? So, that one. So, you use much for uncountable, okay? Nouns in there. But we also use how much 
when you want to know the price, okay? If you want to know the price about something, all right? How much? For example, you say, uh, how much is this dress, verdad? You go to a department store, ya sea que vas man or while shopping, it's up to you, right? So it doesn't matter. But you're going to ask, how much is the dress? Cuánto vale el vestido? How much are these shoes? Con singular o con plural? That's why you say, how much are these shoes? Hay que tener cuidado. Cuando usted se refiere al precio, how much se ocupa con cualquier palabra. All right? But you have to be careful because if you say, uh, ¿Cuánto vale el, el jean, el jeans, verdad? Los pantalones, jeans. You have to say, how much are the jeans? Porque la palabra en sí es plural. Okay? If you're talking about lentes, you have to say, how much are the glasses? Right? Glasses. Glasses. Porque son dos piezas. And just like that. Okay? Just like that. So you have to be careful about that. Uh, so how much are these shoes, verdad? El par de zapatos, right? How much are these shoes? Or how much is the pair of shoes? How much is the pair of shoes? All right. And how much did your jacket cost? ¿Cuánto le costó la chaqueta? How much will it cost me? ¿Cuánto me va a costar, verdad? La gracia, el golpecito, verdad? So, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you talk about price, we use how much. Y, y, la, y, la pregunta, y la pregunta genérica, y la pregunta genérica es la siguiente. Uh, let me just one second, please, over here. Ok. All right, I'm sorry about that. La pregunta genérica es, how much is it? Si usted se refiere solamente a un, a un objeto, va a decir, how much is it? All right. How much is it, right? You're talking about the cell phone. How much is it, all right? You're talking about, let's see, a shirt, right? How much is it? Or how much is this, okay? Y le van a preguntar, uh, which one? The blue one, the black one, the leather one, la de cuero, etc., etc., right? They're going to ask you that, okay? So, pregunta genérica es, how much is this? Or how much is it? Etc., etc., okay. Unit three. Oh, sorry. Let's continue, please. How many? How many you use it with plural countable? Es decir, con plurales. How many days are there in January? Right? How many days are there in January? 31, right? How many days are they in February? Voy a decir como un diputado. Creo que dijo que había 30, right? On February, right? So, and uh, how many students are in this room? So how many students are there in this class? We are supposed to be 20, but right now we are 16 students, okay? How many students? How many books did you buy? Maybe none, right? Ninguno. How many cousins do you have, right? How many cousins do you have? I have a lot of cousins, right? Primos, right? Or primas. Okay, and... Um, Solamente para aclarar un poquito. The noun is often omitted in the question when it's obvious what we're talking about. Omitimos, ¿verdad? El, el, el objeto o de lo que nos estamos refiriendo. For example, we say, I would like to buy some cheese. How much would you like? ¿Verdad? Si hacemos esta pregunta de cuánto quieres, si ya mencionamos la comida, no lo tiene que decir. I need some coins, ¿verdad? Necesito el cambio, ¿verdad? Como decimos nosotros, vuelto, ¿verdad? Monedas, right? So that's what we say. Uh, I need some coins. How many do you need? ¿Cuánto necesita? I need some sugar. How much do you need? Okay. Cuando es obvio de lo que estamos hablando, no tiene que mencionar, ¿verdad? La, el objeto. So you don't have to mention that either. So as a recap, we use how much? Okay. When you're talking about, for example, food, okay? In the, in, or you're talking about money, you say. But when you talk about price, in this case, like the price of a shirt, the price of some shoes, the, the price of uh, something that you want to buy, okay? You use how much. Solo tenga cuidado si dice plural, if it's how much or, 
And if it's singular, how much is? La, la pregunta genérica es, how much is it? Or how much are these? All right? That's what Unit you, three. That's what you said. Sorry. And that's basically it, right? So like in this case, on this screen, le voy a poner un audio solamente para que escuchemos cómo pronuncia el chart de la, de la gramática ahí, right? So I'm going to play this to you right now. Listen, please. Hold on. Page 17, exercise three, grammar focus. Just listen, please. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this scarf? How much is this one? Right, How much is that scarf? How much is that one? Mm -hmm. Which one? Which one? The yellow one. The yellow one. It's twenty four ninety five. It's twenty four ninety five. How much are these gloves? How much are these gloves? How much are these? How much are these? How much are those gloves? Mm -hmm. How much are those? Which are those? Vale? Which ones? Which ones? The gray ones. They're eighteen dollars. They're they're eighteen dollars. Saying prices. All right. Seventy nine cents. Eighteen dollars. Twenty four ninety five. You can say $24.95, or you just can say $24.95, okay? $0.79, cents, $18, $24.95, or you can say $24.95. It's up to you over there, right? All right, uh, we're not going to do this part right now, okay? Maybe we can do it tomorrow, but not today, right? We're going to do this, all right? A, 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 another conversation in here. So what we have is conversation. I prefer the blue one, ¿verdad? Ahora que usted ya se decidió que comprar, usted va a decir, I prefer this one or I prefer the other one. Okay, that's what you're going to uh, learn how to do right now. Ya va a haber tiempo para practicar, okay? There, there's going to be time to practice. So here we go. Page 19, exercise nine, so let's conversation. Listen to, listen to the conversation. Already. I prefer the blue one. Part A. Listen and practice. These wool sweaters are really nice. Which one do you like better? Let's see. I like the green one more. The green one? Why? It looks warmer. That's true, but I think I prefer the blue one. It's more stylish than the green one. Hmm. There's no price tag. Excuse me. How much is this sweater? It's $139. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. <laughs> Voy a regresar, vea. <laughs> Voy a regresar. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you see, excuse me, how much is this sweater? It's 139 Would you like to try it on? Se lo quiere probar. Mm, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Now, listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Brett buy? What does Lisa think of it? All right? So, let me stop sharing this screen. Escuchemos la segunda parte de la conversación, and then let's try to, to see. Okay, let's try to see what Brett buys and what Lisa thinks of it, ¿verdad? I think this is too expensive, too expensive, right? $139. Okay. So let me just one second, please. Let me share with you the uh, the audio in a second over there. Ahorita le busco el audio. So one moment, please. And here we go. All right, I have it here. Page 19, exercise nine, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Brett buy? What does Lisa think of it? Wow, that sweater is really expensive. I don't want to spend that much money. Oh, look, 
There are some things on sale over there. Oh, you're right. These shirts are really nice. And they're cheap, too. I like this one. Is it cotton? Let's see. Yes, it is. It looks nice on you. The colors are really cool. Great. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. So there's something in there, right? This one. And that's the word they said, right? On, están en oferta, right? On sale, right? No vamos a decir sale. No, no, no. It's sell. ¿Verdad? Como si fuera el mismo verbo vender, ¿verdad? It's on sale. ¿Verdad? Están en rebaja. So let me ask you, what does Brett buy? What does he buy? Anybody over here who can help me? What does he buy? I think I think it's a shirt. Yeah, it's a shirt. Correct. And what does Lynn, Lisa think of it? Does she like it or she says it's okay? Or does he have a good color? Does he combine with the rest of the clothes? Something like that? Anybody? Please. Thank you, uh, Mr. Francisco. All right. All right. If you don't remember, let's listen again. Please listen again. All right. And please take notes. All right. Take notes. So here we go. Let me just mute your microphone over here, please, everyone. All right. Okay. Thank you. One more time. Page 19, exercise 9, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Brett buy? What does Lisa think of it? Wow, that sweater is really expensive. I don't want to spend that much money. Oh, look, there are some things on sale over there. Oh, you're right. These shirts are really nice. And they're cheap, too. I like this one. Is it cotton? Let's see. Yes, it is. It looks nice on you. The colors are really cool. Great. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me ask you. So what does Lisa think of the shirt? It's cool. Yes, the color or the colors are really cool. Cool. Cool, correct. All right. And uh, what's the material? of the shirt, what is the shirt made of? Ship. No, what's the material? Yeah. Is it polyester, leather? Cotton. Cotton, cotton. yeah, correct, cotton. it's cotton. cotton, it's cotton, correct. Yeah, it's made of cotton, all right, nice. And it's cheap. All right, so, and it's cheap, right? Because the other one was expensive. So that's why you say, I prefer the blue one. I prefer the cheaper one, I prefer, uh, the smallest one. That's how you say, right? Prefiero esto, prefiero lo otro. Okay. Uh, can I have two more volunteers, please, who can help us practice the conversation in front of the class right now? Two volunteers, ¿verdad? Uh, si nos ayudan para practicar. All right. Somebody else over here? All right. So, Raul, thank you, sir. You're going to be um, Brett right Brad Pitt and then uh, who wants to be Lisa who wants to be Lisa uh, but Dalia. in this yeah but but in this case Dahlia uh, I'll be uh, asking Rocio uh, because she hasn't participated over here right all right thank you all right so uh, Rocio you're Lisa and then uh, Raul you're Brad go ahead please okay uh, these wool sweaters are really nice. Which one do you like better? Let's see. I like the green one more. The green one? Why? It looks war warmer. That's true, but I think I prefer the blue one. It's more stylish than the green, blue, the green one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this sweater? Uh, uh, it's uh, one, 100, no, one, 139. One, 39, 
Would you like to try it on? Oh, no, thanks. Okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Yo creo que la docena le querían vender por 139. <laughs> <laughs> Ese es el fardo. <laughs> All right, thanks anyway, ¿verdad? Gracias de todos modos le dicen, ¿verdad? Anyway, anyway significa de todos modos, ¿verdad? Anyway, right? Thanks anyway. Gracias, ¿verdad? De todos modos. Thanks anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, we are going to do something in here. Let me stop sharing this screen. Vamos a poner a prueba. If we can actually uh, distinguish, diferenciar how much and how many, right? Vamos a hacer como un quiz. And this is interactive, okay? Uh, I'm going to share with you the access to the, to the, to the quiz over there. Ahorita mismo. Let me just double check. Double check es verificar, ¿verdad? Double como doble y luego check de revisar. Ok. And one second, please. All right. So, what should I have here? Ok. Ok. I found it. Si no reviso, les mando el enlace equivocado. Right. There you go. Okay, so I just sent to you a uh, access information so you can practice a, a quiz about how much and how many. Do it in purse or do it in groups of, of three. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna send you into the breaker room right now. But first of all, I'm going to share the screen. Le voy a compartir la pantalla. Okay, let me share the screen. Recuérdese que si es una, un sitio eh, borramos la dirección, ¿verdad? Por cuestiones de, de mayor seguridad. All right. So here we go. So let me share the screen right away. So let's uh, una muestra. Okay. There you go. So uh, it says milk. Do you have so how much milk do you have or how many milk do you have? So you go how much in here, right? And it's going to tell you good. Then you go on next question. So money are you going to take? So how much? And we do this very quickly. So for this, uh, I'm going to give you like two or three minutes to complete this in a breaker room, right? Like three minutes, okay? For you to take the quiz in there, all right? So that's what we're going to do. And, uh, with, and then uh, if you want, you can also practice the, uh, the conversations. Eh, that we just saw in there. Si gusta, también pueden practicar las conversaciones. But um, that's not really necessary. Vamos a hacer, vamos a hacer dos cosas a, a, a la vez over here. So take a look at this screen in here. I want you to, to do some uh, reading practice. Quisiera, quisiera una práctica de escritura. You take terms, you know, reading this. This one is tools for very shopping, okay? Dejemos un, a un lado el, el quiz que están ahí, ¿verdad? En, en, ese, en ese lugar, en ese sitio. And right now, let's take a look at this, please. This is what you're going to do in the breaker room as well. Entonces, this is exercise number two. Okay, you have tools for better shopping. Scan the article, find the names of popular websites. Do you use any of them for shopping? Entonces, usted en grupo va... va you, you have to read number one, number two, number three, and number four. And then uh, you will have to answer this. Okay, you will have to answer this. Pero lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Uh, let me stop sharing this screen. ¿verdad? Para que sea quizás un poquito más ordenado. Here we go. What you do is this one. First of all, you do the quiz, ¿verdad? En el, en el primer breaker room que lo voy a, 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 a enviar, you do just the breaker room, right? Then I will bring you back. Los traigo de regreso. And in the second breaker room, you do the reading practice, okay? You do the reading practice, which is this one. You do the reading practice, okay? Y si nos alcanza el tiempo, uh, Hacemos los ejercicios. You do these exercises over here. This one, letter A. 
letter B, this one, right? And if, if there is time, we do letter C over here. So as a recap, right? What we have to do is, what we have to do is, number one, the quiz, and number two, the reading over there, take terms, hablemos en voz alta, please. Uh, write words that you don't know the meaning of, do the right intonation model, and if there is time, we you're going to complete exercise A and exercise B order. So if you don't have any questions for me, let me open the rooms right now. It's 946. We have around 15 minutes to finish uh, this class. All right. I'm going to open the rooms again over there. And we'll see how it goes. And hold on. Okay. All right, so rooms are open. Join them, please. Thank you. So let's start with the quiz, how much and how many, and then with the reading over there, please. All right. Ahora, ahora este día me ha tocado que andar más perdida que en WhatsApp. <risa> ah. no, 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 sí. Ya me escuchó el teacher, pero, no pero ya, ya entendí un poquito. No se preocupe. <risa> Está, está bonito el calor, ¿verdad? <risa> este está grave. Está grave. Esto. <risa> Para, si gustan, bueno, eh, les voy a compartir pantalla, si gustan. Vea. Este, les, les estoy mandando la imagen del reading que vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Pero eso va a ser con otra sesión de grupo. Ahorita solo vamos a hacer lo de el quiz que está en, en línea, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. para que amarremos un poquito eso. Eh, okay. Let me just one second. Where is it? Where is it? I lost it. All right, I found it. All right, here we go. Okay, yo le voy a preguntar, digamos, uh, voy, comienzo con... Según la pantalla, Raúl, eh, Anayansi, luego usted, Saray. En, como ya comencé, vamos a, vamos a seguir, ¿verdad? Entonces, this one, sir. So, si gusta, usted solo me dice, how much money are you going to take? Y de una sola vez me completa la oración, la pregunta, en this case. Uh, how much money are you going to take? All right, so how much over here, and that's correct. Next question. So, Anayansi, this one is for you. Uh, how many days are there in February? That's perfect. Nice. Thank you. Next question is Sarai. How many days? No, but la, la, que, la que yo tengo, there... perdón. Perdón que le, que le interrumpa. Ah. La que tengo en la pantalla. Sí. Sí. Perdón. <risa> eh. Sí, sería. Ya me quitó el sueño. Sí. Sería. How many? Cuando es cuestiones de comida, casi siempre es how much. Esa es una pista. Una ah, clave. ok. Uh -huh. Entonces sí, sería how much sugar will you like? Uh -huh. How much sugar would, would you like? Ok. Would, Como would que yo like le digo, you. ¿cuánto quiere el cafecito, verdad? Como, how uh -huh. much coffee would you like, verdad? Uh -huh. Over there. Thank you. Now, Raúl, sir, you're, you're, and then you go, how much? Uh, 
Aquí me dice good, right? Next question, mm -hmm. sir. This one. How many people live on the island? All right. How many people live on the island? Live island. on the island. island. No sé por qué, island. pero en island la S no existe y lo demás se dice island. Island. <laughs> island. Okay. <laughs> yeah, live, right? En vivo se dice live, pero algo en vivo. Vivir es live. Y, y, y estar vivo okay. es alive. Y es complicado, entonces. <laughs> ok, no se deciden esta gente. ¿no? How many people, how nice. many people And live? Nancy, solo yeah, que su micrófono está desactivado. Ok, brothers and sisters, do you have? Um, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Nice. <laughs> nice. All right. Y para terminar la ronda, y con esta me despido. Entonces, eh, next one. Solo las difíciles le tocan. How much fun was ahí. it? <laughs> Pero, sí, hombre. How Ay, much? No. Yes, yes. Debe How ser much? karma. Ajá. How much fun? <laughs> Qué malo. <bro. laughs> Ya no la quería cambiar. Así, mire, qué, qué hombre más malo. <risa> how much it is? How much fun, how much was, fun it? was it? Ah, okay, how mm -hmm. much? Okay. Eh, next question. Va, hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí, sorry. Okay. How, how many time do we have? Okay. In, in, in that time. case. In that case, it's con, con, con tiempo y dinero y paciencia, como es poquito, no se puede contar ni se puede medir, ¿verdad? A veces sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. you say much. Much. How yes. much time? Yeah, how much time? Do we have? How much time do we have? Ahorita me pregunta, ¿cuánto tiempo tenemos? How much time do we have? Okay. Seven minutes. Como, mm -hmm. como en la familia peluche, apúntele, apúntele bien, ¿verdad? Entonces. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I gotta go, you know, keep on practicing. Pues ahí sí, alguien va, tiene que compartir pantalla o si no, ustedes deciden. Entonces, okay. Because this one doesn't have a number, porque no tenemos un número. All right. Bye. But. Okay. Lo que voy a hacer es que voy a cerrar los, los breaker rooms y van a tener un minuto, ¿verdad? So we can continue practice. Okay. 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 Nice. Here we go. Hello, hello. That was too quick, right? I know you were practicing and I brought you back in there, right? But it's five more minutes and this class is over. Okay. Vamos a hacer o vamos a agarrar a quemar ropa, ¿verdad? That's what we're, what we're going to do right now, right? A point blank. Let's do the quiz with you in front of this, all right? Like in two minutes, vamos a hacer el quiz con ustedes en vivo y en directo, all right? Um, so I have you here. Let's see, I have your names. Um, and gonna put your names in here. Okay, Mr. Baltazar, help me please, sir. Lo que vamos a hacer para hacerlo un poquito más dinámico, usted me dice si una sola vez como que fuera una pregunta directa que me está haciendo, ¿ok? Like if you're asking me, like, how many time do we have or how much time do we have? Just like that, please. So, Mr. Balta, you go, sir. Uh, how much? Yeah, en ese caso, aunque, aunque no estemos seguros, le pido de favor, ¿verdad? Que, uh, y no solamente a usted, ¿verdad? Eh, Sino que, como, que, hágame la pregunta de una sola vez. Yo solamente le, le, le voy a dar aquí how much or how many y me va ah, a decir. Ah, ok. Please. Time do you have? Ok, yeah. In that case, you say how many you said. How many time do we have? How many, ok. Ok, but in this case, yeah, you say how many. It's incorrect. That means yes. Ahí sí ya me la has agarrado correctamente. Much. Yes. Perfect. Pongamos todo junto, por favor. Let's put everything together. Oh, how, how much? That I do, do you have? Do we have? Thank you. Yeah, correct. Then uh, attempt significa intento, right? Attempts over yeah. here. So next question, uh, Caesar. Apples in, 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 are in the basket. Solo vamos a hacer cinco de estas, ¿verdad? And then we, you will continue. Okay. Eh, eh, quiero ver. 
Eh, no estoy seguro, pero how much apples are in the basket? All right. As you can see, it's incorrect. Why? Because it's plural, ¿verdad? Okay. Ah, it's how many, many apples are in the basket. Okay. That's okay. Apple. Don't worry about it. Eh, Miss Susana, please. If you don't mind, please. I think, yeah, you're okay. over here. All right. How much there's are in this in this room? All right. In this case, it's incorrect because it's plural, okay. you know, chairs. How so many? How, Yes. How, so many how many chairs are in this room? Correct. Yeah. How many? And then I'm going to just choose one last person over here. Ah, este es un ejemplo perfecto. So how, how, and this one is noise in here. So somebody I haven't heard of right now and is, oh, I see, uh, Miss Ramos, Dalia, if you don't mind, please. Can you can you hear me? Sorry. Uh, yes. Um, uh, uh, how many? Okay, pero si gusta me la hice de corrido, verdad? Una sola vez la pregunta. Okay. Like how, uh -huh. okay. how many noise? How many noise can you hear? Thank you. It's actually incorrect. So how would you say it then? Um, see how much. Sorry, mm -hmm. teacher. Yeah, don't worry about it. So, how much? Yes, how much? How much noise can you hear? Yeah, how much noise can you hear, right? Yes. So, for example, if you say time, money, patience, noise, and things like that, como, como conceptos abstractos, ¿verdad? O algo que es intangible, you say much, right? Much. And, and, and that's it. So we're going to stop over here. And uh, let me just stop this screen, ¿verdad? Para quizás no llevarnos mucho tiempo, porque si no, nos va a agarrar eh, no, la tarde. Y, and then I have another, eh, tengo los one-on-one -on -one sessions y, y no quisiera eh, alargarme mucho, ¿verdad? Entonces, let's do something. Let's do the reading, please, all together. All right? Let's do the reading all together. And, and then uh, we still have two more minutes. Tenemos todavía dos minutos o like three minutes. Vamos a hacer la, la lectura que le dije. I, I send this to you, ¿verdad? Ya lo compartí al chat de WhatsApp para que usted lo pueda ampliar. You know, you can make it bigger, etc., etc., right? But please, can I have, please, one volunteer who can help me read number one? Please, the first paragraph over here. Right, so can I have please a volunteer? You know, it's it's almost time, you know, for this class to be over. Ya casi se termina la clase, but I need one volunteer, please. Thank you, Dalia. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to make the screen bigger, verdad, so that you can read it in a better way. Over there. So let's start with the topic, and then with this, in number one. Okay. Thank you. Oy, muy muy grande picture. Oy, yeah. Uh, do you like to shop online? Like millions of people, do you want to find the best thing for the best price? There are so many choices that it can be difficult to find the thing you need and want. Here's where technology comes come in. Popular website like Facebook and Twitter aren't just for social networking anymore. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, do the second one, please. That's okay. Okay. The, the website Facebook and Twitter are popular because people can connect it to friends and get their mods recent news, but people also use the these sites of powerful shopping tools. Members can ask about an IRM and then get opinions from people they too. 
Trust. Twitter's, trust. Hmm? Twitter's, Twitter's can Twitter's can can also share for news from other user and then find store um, nearby. nearby nearby that uh, shell then item sell the item over okay so so as you can see we're talking about tools for better shopping so facebook twitter and social media but social media es decir las redes sociales verdad social media uh, or social networks are used or people use them to communicate to connect with friends to find friends talk to family but also to do business verdad para hacer negocios you know to do business and that's the idea over here so tomorrow you will continue talking about this all right you will talk about smartphones all right you will continue talk about facebook and twitter and this Chopsilla uh, website, et cetera, et cetera, right? Just like Google, it's, it's in here, right? It's okay, we can say that, right? Porque es, son, son marcas que sí se pueden decir. Um, y dos cosas les quería pedir, right? So two things, basically, as a recap, ¿verdad? No estaré en sí, pero it, it might help you uh, practice what we just covered in there, this one. Write five questions you can ask a classmate maybe uh, for activities that they do every day or every week or every month. Five questions that they can, that they do at work, en el trabajo, or at home, okay? Write it down, please. If you still like me las comparten, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso sí se los pido de favor, right? So we can close the cycle, para cerrar el ciclo de, de, de estas time expressions. All right? And, and uh, so besides this, uh, please, when we read these uh, four paragraphs, ¿verdad? Si pueden mañana, no son su hora de almuerzo, o when you're having breakfast, en un momento que quiera hacer algo distinto, Read these paragraphs, please. Leámoslo and write words that, that are new for you, ¿verdad? For example, also. Also means también. Y aquí lo mencionan un montón, all right? Also, right? That one. So, time is up. See you tomorrow. Thanks for joining the class. And uh, in the one-on-one sessions, I'm supposed to have... Uh, me recuerdan con quién voy ahorita. Eh, Mr. Baltasar, it's your turn right now. And then Claudia, and then Zulma, Francisco, and Susana. Si usted no se puede unir, no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Okay, but you can actually let me know. Okay? So, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Goodbye.